Hello everyone, the topic that I would like to talk about with you is Carol's decision to become a priest. No? So this is in the midst of the occupation of the Germans in Poland and after knowing about the struggles he experienced in college and this at this point let's talk about his decision to become priest. For my introduction, Karol Wojtyła had been involved in the church his whole life. No, it was until it was not until 1942 that he began seminary training. No? So let's find out how difficult uh, the seminary training of Saint John Paul II. So when the war ended, he returned to school at Hagelunian University to study theology and. Uh, eventually becoming an ordained priest in 1946. At this point, we will ask what what made Carol decide to become priest. No? Uh, knowing him, he has a, a promising career to become an actor, but because he is actively involved in theater, even underground, even if uh, it's not allowed, but they still continue to do these things no? so what made him decide to become priest so here is uh, the answer no? some of Carol's friends have said to us that uh, said to those who asked about Carol that they felt that this uh, wretching blow of his father's death was decisive and that it led ultimately to his decision to become a priest so in other words it was the death of his father that really became the turning point of his life no that made him decide to become priest no it was almost as if the smell of death was ammonia to him no it awakened him it helped convert him no it sharpened his focus it gave him his vocation it also freed him as maria kedrinska said to uh, sok no the fact that he was alone with his parents without his parents it was as if it was his destiny so for carol himself affirmed that his father's death was a turning point in his life after which he became aware of his true path no? so according to him he might be god must have prepared him for his life in the priesthood now when was carol entered the clandestine Seminary. So when we speak of clandestine, meaning secret, in secret, underground, no. So somehow it's quite illegal uh, during that time, but because they are not allowed by the Germans to operate in the seminary. So uh, we know that Carol, uh, his father died in 1941. So a year after, it was November. In one of his confessions he confide, he confided to father Casimir Riglibitz that he wanted he had decided to become a priest no? and so this this confessor uh, brought Carol to the archbishop and there they talk about the decision of Carol to become priest no so that was what happened so for two years while still working at the chemical factory he attended illegal seminary classes run by Krakow's Cardinal Archbishop Prince Adam Sapieha. No? After narrowly escaping a Nazi roundup of able bodied men and boys in 1944, so Botella spent the rest of the war in the Archbishop's palace disguised as a cleric. So, because during this time we know already that there are, are really a lot of priests were killed. No? there was even an incident that a seminarian was killed because he was found out that he was uh, uh, a, a seminarian no? so it is really their life was really at stake and very dangerous no? so that was what happened no? uh, in this time no? most of the students in this wartime underground seminary had been living in various safe houses in the countryside and traveling to secret locations for theology classes no so uh, carol uh, di lang magpahalata nga naanaday nag eskwela na day siya no nagtrabaho gyapon siya no sa 
uh, soul bay plant no it it's even became for him a true seminary because his decisions are all really uh, being purified no his decision to become priest no and uh, Archbishop Sapia decided that all of his seminarians would be uh, to stay in his residence because it is much si safer in in his place no so until the Germans uh, troops uh, already uh, surrender uh, went back to their own country no so the end of World War two. What are the influences of his decision? Here I enumerated a few, but very important. Uh, number one of those, uh, uh, the influence of his decision is his own father. No, so before his father died, he, he was uh, a very religious man. No, uh, Carol always remember that there are times that he would wake up uh, seeing his father on bended knees no praying no? on uh, praying at the altar another another uh, person that helped him develop his spirituality and ultimately lead his decision to become priest is no other than father Casimir Figliviks no so he was the confessor of Carol and also the one who somehow plant the seed of vocation but we cannot also deny the fact that during his high school, high school days, it was also Father Edward Zucker who also his catechist no, and also helped him uh, plant the seed of vocation. And next is John Terenovsky. No? He is a, a lay person but having deep spirituality that influences Carol. So he met uh, a year before his father died. No? John Taranowski was even with him when his father accompanied him during his difficult times during his uh, when his father died no so John Taranowski introduced Carol to somehow come kind of an interior prayer no pattern uh, with the uh, readings of Saint John of the Cross no so this these are really great influences although there are other influences like for example the the experience of war the his uh, contact with the Salesian fathers uh, his family upbringing these are all influences of his decisions but these people are really very have great influences in his decision to become priests so when when was his ordination happened he was ordained on November 1, that was All, All Saints Day, no? November 1, 1946, just as the communist regime replaced the Germans at the end of the war. So they have somehow uh, experienced some kind of, uh, not really that uh, full freedom, but when the Germans were replaced by uh, the communists. no. Uh, yeah, at that time the USSR no? so that was the time that Caro was ordained priest now a week after his ordination Carol was sent to Rome by the Archbishop of Krakow uh, Archbishop Stefan Adam Sapieha to study in Rome for his doctorate in theology and while he was abroad he really wanted to go back to Poland because during this time one of his uh, very much Im uh, close friend Jan Taranowski that, that he really influenced him was really in great ill no? so unfortunately this person died and uh, Carol was not really able to visit him during his week because he was studying he was for the studies in Rome so and he was asked to just serve during his vacations in the to the Polish citizens living in Belgium living in France living in Holland so uh, he was here studying in Rome for two years no? and then able to acquire the 
doctor in theology. So what was his first assignment as priest? No? In 1948, when he returned to Poland from his studies in Rome, the young Carol, the young priest, was assigned to the rural village of Nigrovic for a year before returning to Krakow. No? In Krakow, he was vicar of various parishes. No? So he was a vicar priest, uh, meaning assistant to the parish priest, no? as well as chaplain to university students. So this period lasted until 1951 when he again took up his studies in philosophy and theology. Okay, so for our reflection, we, I s place there, we have to allow God to take course of your life. No. Allow God to take course of our life because uh, it is a great opportunity that we will be able to have a closer relationship with God. Uh, guided by a, a spiritual director no? so I hope that you will be able to find one that will really influence deepen your own spirituality so that's all for my discussion uh, if you have questions or clarifications uh, feel free to message me thank you for listening